it's an ever evolving process to um, make this workshop more efficient and use the space in a better way. Right now, I need some kind of a station for the surface planer. This old miter saw is gonna go into the crawl space. It's gonna get stored, I never use it anymore. So I just wanna get it out of here. And I bought a bandsaw for smaller projects. This is just a little nine inch bandsaw. But this will help with doing some, some of the jigs that I'm making in the new year. What I need is, I need a station, a mobile station that will accommodate the bandsaw and will be modular enough to accommodate the surface planer. And what I want to do is have it incorporate into my ultimate small workshop bench. So that's what we're gonna do today. I already have these big wheels from a previous workstation that I built for my surface planer, specifically for the surface planer, which was actually in hindsight a big waste of space. So I'm going to reuse these wheels. These are pretty heavy duty wheels. They actually raise the whole thing up uh, six inches and they've got some good stops on them. So the wheels are going to go on, we're going to build at the bottom another cross piece here or corner cross pieces. Got these 516th one inch screws, heavy duty screws. And I'm going to put them in. These are really easy to install once you've drilled, pre drilled some holes. I'm just using a big flathead screwdriver. I could use a ratchet, but this is only going in less than an inch.
So one of the things that I've done with this workstation is I've made it uh, the perfect module for the ultimate small workshop bench. The piece that I've just added here, you'll see this toggle piece slides in and out. It's secured by one bolt when it's sitting there, but once I push it out, I can just lock it in that position. Now, the wheels do have locks on them that are pretty sturdy, but they don't really satisfy me in terms of steadiness. I'm going to need to lock this into position. So, I'm gonna wheel this over my workbench. And I'm just going to dock it right here, right on the corner. Now, it's docked here, and it just so happens that this toggle piece is the right height to sit on the ledge. So I just pull it out, I give it a couple of little cranks of the wing nut on the inside, and now it's secure onto the workbench. With that one feature, this workstation will easily dock onto the Ultimate Small Workshop Bench. So now with that freed up, I've got, um, I've got a workbench docked to a workbench, essentially one with a power tool station and still have an assembly area or uh, a clear workspace to work off of. It's not moving. It stays exactly where I put it. I don't have to rely on the wheel locks. The nice thing with these big rubber wheels is that it absorbs all shock. I've got a bandsaw thickness planer solution and it's just, it works really fantastic. When I'm finished with it, I just release, slide the block back in. Last thing I'm going to add is a corner plate to stabilize this a little bit better. It doesn't need it, it could probably do without, but I like things to be nice and solid, so I'm going to add this to it. I have some leftover plywood scraps. Now this is rock solid, so it's not going to move in the least. includes building a mobile workstation for your workshop. This bandsaw thickness planer combination is prioritized exactly how I want it. The bandsaw is going to get used more, the thickness planer used less, but still very accessible and easy to move around the workshop. It now occupies the same space where the thickness planer and the old miter saw used to sit. I'm really happy with it. It's easy to move out of the way and access the hardware that I have stored behind it and it uses my workshop space a lot more efficiently. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.